Tuesday, I am fading. Goodbye, Ruby Tuesday. Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon. Tuesday. Hi, everybody, and welcome to NSS. This is the Reynolds Report. The James Bond thriller Spectre opened to a record-smashing $80 million overseas on the weekend, even better than the last 007 blockbuster Skyfall did in its international debut. Spectre opens Friday in North America. Nicki Minaj, who has never been mistaken for the sensitive type, has angered quite a few of her loyal followers. The rapper took to Instagram on Saturday night to share a video of herself in a fairy outfit as she laughed hysterically while jokingly pointing to someone in a wheelchair with a magic wand and saying, Walk! One follower wrote, I guess it's cool to make fun of disabled people. On Friday, Air France announced that they'll be showing Star Wars The Force Awakens two days before it hits the theater. You just have to book a flight to Paris. Seriously. There are four flights, one from San Francisco, another starts in Los Angeles, and the other two start in New York. Here's a taste of what you can expect. There has been an awakening. Have you felt it? The dogs. Ladies and gentlemen, please pardon the interruption of the movie Star Wars, but it is time for us to pick up the cans and cups from your seat area. Please look for the flight attendant coming to your seat area soon. Now, back to the movie Star Wars. Nothing will stand in our way. I will finish what you start. Ladies and gentlemen, if you have any garbage in your area, the flight attendants are stopping by your seat area now to pick it up. Thank you so much for checking, and again, pardon, back to what we are sure will be a thrilling conclusion of Star Wars. The Force, it's calling to you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are quickly approaching Paris International Airport, arriving much sooner than expected. Good news, no? Please upright your seats and tray tables. We are about to land. Maybe you can see the rest of Star Wars on the way home. C'est la vie, huh? <laughs> Celebrities were dressing up all over the place on the weekend. Donald Trump didn't wear a costume. He is a costume. Actress Kate Winslet bans her kids from social media because it can lead to low self-esteem, eating disorders, and seeing your mom getting sketched naked by Leonardo DiCaprio. Harrison Ford says he suffered a concussion and amnesia after his plane crash. Well, here's hoping he remembered what could have possibly possessed him to get that terrible earring. Justin Bieber stormed out of a concert in Norway. So in your face, everyone who accuses Justin Bieber of being a petulant, entitled brat. A new study finds that the best way for adults to make meaningful and lasting friendships is to become part of a singing group. Oh yeah? Tell that to the Beatles. Rapper DMX was arrested for failure to pay child support and also because it was Friday. Germany is about to start up a monster of a nuclear reactor. But I'm fine with that. It's not like Germany has ever done anything that would endanger the world. In Miami Beach, a woman walked into a fast food restaurant, stripped naked and stretched out on a table, then let men pour ketchup all over her. Why ketchup? Because mustard would have been just plain weird. A Guinness World Book of Records has officially declared an audio lab at Microsoft's headquarters as the quietest place on Earth. Runner-up was any theater showing our brand is crisis. Experts say daylight savings time confuses pets. Also confusing pets, laser pointers, stuffed animals, and everything. Pets are dumb. The latest study plainly states that TV binge-watching leads to an early death. So, if you enjoy binge-watching The Walking Dead, you're basically the sitting dead. And Star Wars creator George Lucas has gotten approval to build a 300,000-square-foot museum in Chicago. If you think that sounds exciting, just wait until you've tried sex. 
Thanks, everybody. We have a new episode of the Reynolds Report for you every weekday. The Jewel Radio Network, proud to present Frank D'Angelo and his 18-piece band Fall Concert Tour. Friday, November 13th at Casino Teatro Lac Lame in Gatineau. Saturday, November 14th at Teatro Corona Virgin Mobile. Saturday, November 21st at the Garrick Entertainment Center in Winnipeg. And Saturday, November 28th at Stonewall's Restaurant in Hamilton.